Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today you can't see me on this video. I'm having some weird issues with my camera and it lagging my computer insanely badly for some odd reason. So there we go. Um, yeah. We are looking at um, some more showcase videos where basically I'm just going to run through the videos, um, showing you kind of these scripts, maybe th throw out a few things that you can change to manipulate them to work a little better in your favor of how you want. Um, but as far as the commands and what it's exactly doing, I'm not going to dive too deep into that. Uh, I have plenty of videos out there if you want to learn a specific command or function uh, check those out if not hey recommend it in the comments below and hopefully i can do a video later on uh on that specific topic uh we're looking kind of at two places here uh, i don't know how to say his username but like in bernell uh keylogger um which is cool and then we also got uh this site we're visiting one more time i think um and so I'll have all these obviously in the description below for you guys to link to and just find uh, on this one there's a huge list. So there's other ones I've never covered. Uh, check them all out. This is probably one of the best uh, sites that I found for auto hockeys. It just has a very nice like just easy to use list. You know there's pictures and stuff if you jump down. Um, so pretty self-explanatory there. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the code, shall we? Uh, so the first one we have is the um, the accent, uh, yes, yeah, whatever, <laughs> um, and this is helpful for you know people who are using other languages, uh, you know French, Spanish, whatever that has these different types of characters. Uh, you definitely uh, want to change these uh, if you want to different languages. Um, these are kind of just the defaults that come, as you can see here. There's a whole bunch of different ones, but there can be different things. And the way this works is you do need to save this uh, file as, um, I'll link it in the description below. I did a whole video on how to do a Unicode and kind of stuff, like special characters. Um, so you would have to save depending what kind of characters you're using. So yeah, that's also in the description below, but you can change it to however you want. So let me find this and run it. We'll make some spaces here just because we'll use this area for typing for our demo. All right. So you basically you just start typing, you know, um, tab nation. But if I do, uh, so A was the first one, so we can do A. But as you see, it has a little tool tip that pops up there real quick. You can delay and uh, extend it to be a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's now changing it as I go through. And then when I give it down for a few seconds, it stops. And there we go. There is that special character. Uh, it still works without having to do all that special stuff I just talked about, but it does make it work a little bit better for certain uh, characters. Uh, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. This I can see being very helpful uh, for the people out there who uh, type in multiple languages and whatnot. All right, let's go on to this one. Let me close that last one out. There we go. Uh, so this one... Uh, the biggest thing you're going to want to change right off the bat is the location. So this is logged. Uh, so as you see, I just have it pointed towards my desktop. And it's creating a folder automatically called logged. Um, so we can put that right here. Let's open that up. There we go. So it's just going to create a file using the uh, date and time. Uh, you can change that to be named however you want. But it's basically just keeping track of everything I'm doing, really. So you can... Uh, let's go in and take a look here and type some stuff out hello world how are you today make sure to sub videos each week so yeah there's that and we'll highlight it delete it and let's go take a look at our um, logged file here if i can find it oh, i don't know why i just closed it but yeah, basically, it's just keeping track of a few things, too. It's, uh, you know, you got your left bat mouse uh, click. It's grabbing the coordinates of where I clicked. Uh, and then just, you know, what program is running. What was, where was I typing? So that tab specifically was called testing2.ahk. So you can even see, like, what tab is being clicked in and whatnot. Wheel down, wheel up. And it does a whole bunch of stuff. So it's really just grabbing tons of different information. 
you know, here you go. Here is hello, uh, hello world. But as you see, I did a backspace because I accidentally missed the O. So it's very detailed. So hell backspace O world. How are you today? Enter. Make sure to sub. And then you can see left mouse button where I kind of deleted it and everything. And yeah, basically it'll create a new file each day. Uh, if you want, you can manipulate it to do it more often. If you want it just one single file, it's really up to you. Here's how the formatting's done um, when it creates the file. So you can change that too. If you don't care about the year, make it a little bit cleaner, uh, easier to read. Um, yeah, and then obviously you have a ton of hotkeys here. Uh, with key events that go all the way down. This is in English. Uh, it does have some of the special characters here. Um, if you want to do it in another language, or maybe your keyboard has some stuff that's not listed on here, you know, here it goes F all the way up to, you know, it goes pretty quick, all the way up to F24. Uh, you just need to go in here and manually do that yourself, unfortunately. So this is in English, but if you're trying to do a keylogger for another language, it's probably best to uh, edit those. Uh, here's also all the other kind of things it can do. If you don't want it to capture all that junk with the mouse clicks, like maybe you don't really care where they're clicking or why, just highlight this and just delete this code and you're good. Um, there's some information here on the creator and, uh, you know, basically a disclaimer saying, hey, don't use this for evil. Um, so yeah, so obviously this is for educational purposes and personal use. Uh, if you use it for evil, that's on you, not me. <laughs> All right, let's close that one out. So the next one we're doing, actually the next two we're going to be looking at are really just a kind of clipboard kind of thing for saving to Notepad. Uh, so the first one we got, uh, our hotkey is going to be F1 here. Obviously, you can change that to whatever you want. We got some key weights, as you see, just to avoid sticky keys. Uh, it's going to block our input. That way we don't make any type of mistakes. It's going to send Control A, which is highlights everything. And then it's going to send Control C, which copies. It is, it's then going to do a click, and that's just going to unhighlight everything. It's just simple. Um, this is a very simple script. Uh, if exist, basically it's looking for uh, something called save edit.txt. It's going to delete that file, and then it's going to take the clipboard and create that file. So obviously, this doesn't really exist on my desktop right now. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the first part of this code. I'm going to push F1. Well, actually, sorry. Uh, this is for highlighting everything. So you can use this on a browser or whatever, notepad, Word document. We're going to push F1. As you see, it really quickly highlighted it. You didn't see the Control C action, obviously. And then it clicked to unhighlight it. Um, and then it created this on my desktop. A text file. You can obviously change it if you want to like a Word file, but text file is going to be the smoothest. And so that it copied everything and stuck it right in there. So this is just a great way to create text files really quick. Um, now, if you want to get a little fancier with it, you can uh, do this next script that we got here. Uh, and this one's going to be the same hotkey F1. Obviously, change it to whatever you want. Uh, this one's actually going to back up your old keyboard, or sorry, keyboard, uh, clipboard, to store it temporarily. It's then going to control C. As you see, we're not doing the control A, because this one we want to target specifically what we're highlighting. It's going to wait for the clipboard. Um, and then it's going to, right down here, it's basically injecting it into a document called Untitled Notepad. Um, it does have an asterisk there, just because when you create it, uh, let me get one right quick. Um, when you create it, it does uh, start out as untitled notepad, but as soon as you type something in, it has that little asterisk there. Um, so yeah, as you can see. Um, I have this commented out. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, so let's see. Let's get that running. It's called copy adding. So here we'll highlight this line of code. We're going to push F1. And as you see, there it is. Now we're going to highlight something else. Let's highlight this line of code, F1. And as you see, it's just adding. And it's really nice. It's very helpful. So it's a great way, like if you're reading, uh, you know, something for school, 
and you just kind of want to grab the important stuff to print out or to remind you to review over like formulas or something, it's a great way to do it. And it's just going to replace your clipboard with what was ever in there originally. Um, so you don't lose any of that data, which is great because down here it's putting the, the old clipboard back into the current clipboard. Now, obviously, you can change this up a little bit uh, just on how you want it to um, be in here. You know, if you want it to break up more, just add more line breaks, you know, whatever. You can customize it. Uh, now, let's go ahead and uncomment all this. I'm going to save that, run it again. Yes. And what this is going to do is we're going to highlight something, push F1, and this is just going to keep opening um, it's going to open new ones. Now, I've had issues with this off and on for some odd reason. I haven't figured out why yet. Oh, okay, there, it's adding to that. That's fine. So let's delete that. And this just opens up new tabs and starts, but it's having weird problems. That's why I commented it out. Um, I haven't had much chance to play with it, but... Oh, you know why? It's because I don't have the asterisk there. So just add it to whatever it's called and it's going to find that. Um, same with here. If you don't want it to automatically post into the uh, just an untitled and you have a specific saved one, just change the name of that window right here to whatever it is. It could be like, you know, class number 101 math formulas. Just make sure it matches here so it knows exactly which text file to post it into. Uh, it also, you can change up here to add the file directory, just because right now, this is just going to look where the script currently is. Um, if I have the text file and the script in separate folders, you are going to need to specify that. Uh, you can put it down here, or you can just add the um, starting directory up here. But yeah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys all seem to really enjoy the... Uh, showcase videos, hit the subscribe button, I'm throwing out more of these, and pretty much my new thing now is if any video gets more than 50 uh, likes, I will try my best to do a, you know, part two or whatever, this is one I believe is part eight of my showcase videos, so definitely check out that playlist, I'll link that in the description below, and if I forget, just remind me, because I tend to do that from time to time. Alright everybody, I will see you all on the next one.